The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We start out with the German DAX. As you can see here, we got a pretty significant three drive pattern here. Uh, don't know if it's going to work or not, but it started to work at least a little bit. If we switch over and go across the channel or down the road a little bit, you'll see that we have a double top here in the FTSE. We did take out the April high by a little bit. We also have a three drive top there. We have that monster gap. I don't know what the reasoning for that is. Who knows? Oh, I think it is because maybe Great Britain is going to take back Hong Kong after they're having all of the um, rioting that we have over there. This is really, uh, really serious stuff in Hong Kong, folks. That's right. Uh, right in the middle of everything over there. That's really, uh, really big time stuff. But we'll, we'll pay a little attention with that. On Friday, I'm going to do a special thing, folks. I've had a request to ask how I started making all the money back in the early days of the 60s. And I'll go through the Cyclotech stuff with Jim Hurst and Ray Frechette and Larry Williams and how Walter Brissett and show you some of the signals that I used and how I traded it and stuff to give you an idea what was right, what was wrong. But it'll be it'll be a little bit interesting. I'm preparing it now and I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it. Now I do want to cover one other thing here that uh, looks also interesting. This is the uh, 60 minute chart on the German Bund. That's the 30 year bond coming out of um, Germany. Of course, uh, it is one of the uh, negative interest rate ones, which is really a good deal, I think. I, I really think it's really good. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Z, I'm buying silver today. If, uh, uh, let me show you why. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to buy Christmas silver. Just a second. And uh, I'm not buying it for everybody else. I'm just going to buy a little bit for myself. Time out. <clears throat> Excuse me here, and I'll get this up here so we can uh, take a quick look at it, and we'll be able to see uh, where we are. What did I do with it? I just, oh, dear. Boy, I tell you, another senior moment. I had this thing all set up, ready to go, and now I can't find the darn thing. Well, oh, dear. Well, I'll have to post it a little bit later because I just, ah, there it is. It's right there in front. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Here's a... Uh, well, I'll, I'll go a little bit over that silver stuff that I got started in the business. But uh, the other – look at silver here, folks. Um, we're at a 60% a retrace, 61% retracement of the move from June 10th. We also have a new moon and solar eclipse today. That's a pretty good cycle. We are down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days, okay? And that's usually all you get. The last time we had one of these, you can see here that we're setting at the 61% retracement of the move from the May 28th, and it's also a 382 from that move. So eight days down, yeah, maybe they get you, but you got to risk 15 cents. But that's what I'd be looking at. I'd like to buy it about a nickel lower if possible, but that's what it that's what it looks like uh, with the silver. Um, I'm going to change strategies here for a little bit. It's really difficult doing this show here, folks, because you guys never ask me any questions. We get a few call-ins, but other than that, it's pretty different. But many years ago when I was uh, uh, doing a lot of uh, – well, I, <laughs> I was playing poker in Las Vegas as often as I could because I'm not good at it, but I do make a little bit of money. I mean little money. I mean nothing to – you might be able to – go out and eat one night a month or something like that. But uh, I do like to play because it's all about money management and power and positioning and what you're looking at. But um, some of the traders that I've trained from Las Vegas were professional horse players. There were three of them. They, two of them have gone to that big horse place in the sky, but there's one guy still alive that I talk to occasionally. And what they do is when you're, when you're playing the horses, folks, there's a 16% – uh, vigorish that comes right off the top. In other words, the state takes 16% of all the money bet. That's right off the top. So you're you're be you're be beating a dead horse as to say to, to you can beat that game. But there's ways of doing it because you have to you have to play 
under six, you know, just like poker, you got to have a hand that you can actually play that makes it good. Well, many years ago, uh, Nate Cohen, when I first started going to the track with he and Eddie Horowitz and uh, all those guys, I mean, but Nate Cohen had a system that was really good, and that was, he said, you always look for the overlays. In other words, bet a horse that is supposed to be four to one in the morning line, and then all of a sudden the horse is uh, 12 to 15 to one. That means that uh, they're, you know, that's happened. He said the later parts of the races, he said those overlays will happen all the time because the public, because they're losing and trying to get their 16 and a half percent vigorous back, they will start betting on long shots, which makes the favorites an overlay. So, I've always kept that in mind. Later on, Eddie Horowitz showed me that you don't bet on the horse. You bet on the horse's jockey's agent. In other words, take the jockey and see who the leading jockey is, and that's the one you want to look at because a jockey is like an actor. They have agents. They are the ones that decide which movie you're going to play in, which horse you're going to ride. And if you stop and think a minute, the jockey is the sole source of income for that agent. So he is not going to put that jockey on a horse where he has any danger of uh, hurting himself or even not even finishing in the money because that's how he makes his money. So what you want to do is you want to find an overlay where you have a leading jockey with a horse that's a relatively long price. So that's what you're looking at. Now let's move forward to yesterday. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's get this up here. And I just want to give you an example. This is out of Gulfstream Park. And I just want to give you the example what the old cowboy did. You'll see here that uh, this is the Gulfstream Park. It was the sixth race. Now, I want you to see where it says last race, that first arrow. That means this horse had never run before in this year. You see? Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> it was the uh, 27th of May. That was his last race. So he had ran one, two, three, four times this year. And look at the odds over there, 23 to 1. Folks, this horse was 6 to 1 in the morning line. You notice here there were only six horses in the uh, six horses in the race, and look at the payoff. Number two, awesome action. Didn't have anything to do with playing with the, the stock market or anything. But look, he paid forty-eight dollars, twelve twenty, and nine forty. And the, look at the look at the trifecta. A fifty-cent trifecta paid one hundred and thirty-nine dollars. Well, for the old cowboy, my 15 bucks returned $355. The real funny part about this is the sixth race was run at 1230, and I was very busy at that time. <laughs> and so the guy who washes my car every Monday, Carlos, he was going in that direction, and I said, "Put a, you know, make a bet on this this horse for me. And I had, I've known Carlos for 17, well, no, 20 years, and um, I have never asked him to do that. So... About 2.30 in the afternoon, I'm taking a nap, and I hear someone banging on my door. Just really, I said, oh, my God, somebody's died. And I open the door. There's Carlos. And he's got a big smile on his face. He says, he won, he won, he won. And then I, uh, he told me what happened. Then I went online and looked at it and stuff. And Carlos made a bet, too, just like I did. So he, he picked 350 bucks up. But that doesn't happen very often. But that, that just shows the probabilities of getting the odds in your favor. That's the same thing as whether you're you know, using a pattern or whether you're playing poker. And in poker, you have three things. You have the power of your hand. Then you have the position of where you are. And the third thing you have, which is the least important, is the probability of you winning. So that's what you got to do in trading. The same thing. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Don't miss the last chance to sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner at just $97 a month. Starting July 1st, we're raising the price to $197 a month. This is your last chance to lock in the $97 rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. And as always, new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk. Don't miss this last chance to sign up at the low rate of just $97 a month. Sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart for Ruby. Ruby, look at this, A, B, C, D, 114 in the coffee. And it's already backed off three cents from that A, B, C, D pattern. So uh, we just wanted to thank you. Keep us alert when you're going to buy it again because it certainly looks like a, a really – I didn't buy any of it because I haven't traded coffee in a long time. I was really thinking about doing it this time, uh, but I didn't. So we'll see whether that's happened. By the way, Tucker here in the Tiger Den has just given us the greatest possible news a trader could ask for in trading. Tucker just reminded us that Winsky said on July 2nd, which is today, we have a solar eclipse and a new moon, was an important change in trend, especially for silver. Boys and girls, do you know what that means? That means that if it doesn't work, we could blame Norman. Yes, then we don't have any responsibility. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Those are the kind we're looking for. Where we don't have to worry about being wrong. Remember the fear of being wrong or the fear of losing money or the fear of missing out or the fear of leaving money on the table? We can shift those over to the wizard. Yes, sir. Okay, Norm, if you're listening, I'm only joking. Don't get all paranoid on me. All right, let's take a quick look at one other thing that we want to be watching, and that is the bit. It's getting a, getting a lot of press in the mail and everything. We've had a nice retracement from the 61% uh, retracement here, if we get this up here. <laughs> oh, Dollar Bill, you're kicking the pants. Dollar Bill says he blames Norm for all of his losses. And, and there's not many of them, I understand. Anyway, look, we made that 61% retracement up there at 13,900. We immediately dropped down below 10,000, correct? There's that 382 coming in again, right? Just a little under 9,900. It's going to be very important there, folks, because you got to, if you'll notice the little arrow there, that's the 61% retracement of the mid May low. And it's also the 38% retracement of the low that we made in February. This 9,800 is really possible. If you start seeing this thing at 92 or something like that, there's trouble in River City. But boy, if it holds, but boy, if it holds, then it's got a really, really good chance to uh, move a lot higher. But that's still you know, a little early in the game. We'll have to wait and see. We have another one on the watch list that looks pretty interesting. Uh, this is one that we've been uh, watching for quite some time. That's the British pound. 
I want to get this little puppy up here so we can see it. There it is. You'll notice here that and we're trading right at the 2600 level. This is as of Sunday. You'll see here uh, we were looking for the market to come down just a little below uh, below that 2600 we got down to 2600 last night i don't know where we're trading now i'll have to double check but that's a nice head and shoulders pattern folks it has the symmetry that you look for notice your your left shoulder is uh, um, lower than your right shoulder in other words there's more strength in the right side of that the distance between your shoulder and head and head and shoulder is equal um, that's really what you look for so it might not work, but that's a head and shoulders pattern. So watch this uh, British pound down here at this uh, 126 uh, uh, zero, zero level. It's got a real interesting pattern here. Uh, let me just, I just checked that uh, we got as low as uh, 126. Uh, what did we get? How low did we get here? Uh, 126. Uh, that can't be right. No, 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 120, uh, wow, 126.06 was a low, and we're trading at 126.40 right now, so that's an interesting one, you know, to uh, to take a look at, so keep, uh, keep a close eye on that, that'll be really interesting to see if that one is going to uh, hold up and and be correct. So that's another one. All right. The other one that we watched yesterday, whether it's going to work or not, remember all these are based on probabilities, folks. There's never any certainties in these things, but this was the one that uh, we have this pattern. We wanted to see it get up here. Uh, these are the bonds. We got up to that level uh, where we matched the old high there at 155.23. Uh, uh, that basically completes that. This is the day. We got the solar eclipse. We got the new moon. We got the bada bing, the bada boom. If it doesn't work, doesn't work. Anytime we make new highs today in those uh, September bonds, I would say this doesn't work anymore. So the risk here is really small, about 250 bucks. The other thing about the bonds and the notes, again, what are we seeing on the open interest front? Dropping open interest, folks. I know it's going to be different this time, but the players are leaving the market. So... We'll see what happens, but that's what we're watching as we look through some of these uh, charts today. I've had several requests about the corn. Folks, corn has broken down badly, you know, and uh, we've seen this before. We'll see it again. But let's take a quick look here at the Christmas corn. We'll get it up here, and it's trading just about uh, what you're looking at here. Uh, about the this is the daily this is july corn this isn't the christmas corn uh the july corn is still uh, right in the same area here but uh the one that we're trying to buy is the december corn and that that number is still quite a bit of ways to go we're trading around 421 in december corn and i think it's got a chance uh uh, to do that uh, regarding the hogs we talked about the hogs yesterday they were i believe very very strong yesterday up about another three cents so it looks like that hog market has finally turned cattle have not turned as of yet but it certainly looks like we're able to to see if that's going to uh, if that's going to be the case okay that's uh anybody check on the low for uh, the christmas silver i had no idea I don't know where I bought it. I bought it at the market, but I don't know where it's at, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's take a look at this. Uh, oh, someone asked a question about that corn from yesterday. Let's re review that. This is from Friday, folks. I just wanted to go over it because some people don't understand commodities. This is the December corn chart. It's a one-hour, one-minute chart. And if you'll notice there at 12 o'clock, the report came out. And corn immediately rallied 15 cents, and it went from – it dropped – 22 cents that's a eleven hundred dollars it went right down to two to 44 cents a bushel i had a buy there at 45 cents a bushel and the market rallied all the way up 22 cents it had eleven hundred dollar profit in it but remember this is a one minute chart look how quickly they took that away when i saw that I, I, you know, and I tried to get to the 24-7 people, but by the time I got the thing prepared, you know, it was already, uh, you know, trading below the, the stop price we had at uh, 435, so there's nothing I could do. But the important thing here is down at the bottom, this is the first time we've had a limit move in corn in a very, very long time. And uh, you'll notice there, this was at 426 per pa uh, per bushel corn was limit down for 15 minutes and then you see after those little dots it pops up 
and then it starts to trade. Now, we're, folks, we are trading at 421. So we've gone another 10 cents lower. So there's no pattern here, you know, to really, you know, define what the risk is. So that's it. Remember, this is with the most bullish stuff we've seen in corn since Hector was a pup, and he was a pup in 1993. So it'll change, but not right now. That's uh, that's the bottom line. We want to keep an eye on it because uh, there'll be a good buying opportunity coming in here. You know, the old adage is corn is as high as an elephant eye on the 4th of July. Well, that corn is about seven inches high this year. So that elephant is a long way away. But the market's not saying that. So we have to pay attention to what those charts are. That's one of the advantages of being a technician. You look at that bar chart going up. They're buying, going down, they're selling. We'll be right back, boys and girls. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ADC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, Mr. Z has posted something to me on a, on a private message here uh, since we were talking about horse racing. It's about Walter Annenberg. Uh, he, uh, he's the reason why, why Ronald Reagan was president for two terms, folks. Uh, Annenberg was one of the most powerful men in California. He lived in Palm Springs and an incredible state there. But he, he, he was the one that brought uh, Mr. Reagan to the White House. No question about it. If you read anything about it, he was 
as the main man. But his father bought, uh, in 1922, bought the uh, racing form uh, publications, and that's what uh, people do it. But Mr. Uh, Mr. Z was asking me if I buy that. No, I, I don't. I, I, I just look at the board. I look at the tote board out there, and it tells you whether the people are buying, you know, putting money on the horse or not. One of my fa one of my favorite stories. I I mean, th this was going back in 1972. I'm there with Nate Cohen and Eddie Horwitz, and we're sitting in Nate's box. And uh, this guy comes down and sits next to Nate, and they introduce us to him. His name is Jack. Hi, Jack. And so we're sitting there talking, and Eddie and I are in the front, and Nate and Jack are behind us. And um, these people, everybody that walks by, hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. I turn around. And I says, I know you're not the mayor of uh, Los Angeles. That's Sam Yorty. I I said, uh, who in the heck are you? He says, oh, uh, my name's Jack Warner. I said, Jack Warner? I said, you're Frank Sinatra's best friend. He said, oh, he said, Frank's got lots of friends. A few minutes later, there's a horse out there at 99 to 1 called Guide Tour. And I told uh, Eddie, I said, I like this. And Nate Cohen says, why don't you just throw your money out there on the track? He said, you're not going to win anything at 99 to 1. Jack Warner taps me on the shoulder. He says, hey, kid. He said, let me tell you something about horse racing. You see all those horses out there going back and forth? He said, they ain't one of those FFGNG horses that can read. He said, not one of them knows that he's a long shot. And guide tour one at 101 to one. And I got back, oh my gosh, I got back 800 bucks for my $6 bet. And they nicknamed me long shot after that. That They still, well, Eddie's the only one still alive. But uh, anyway, that was one of my, one of my favorite stories. But uh, anyway, let's move on. He did invite me to his, uh, to Warner Brothers with the kids, and we were able to see a couple of the sets and stuff, so it was really good. I know these stories, I, I keep telling the same thing, but you know, that's the best part of being old, because when you tell the story, you forget that you told it a few days earlier, so that's it. <laughs> anyway, it's horse racing is just like the trading, folks. You gotta kiss a lot of frogs out there in that fro in that swamp before you uh, before you find the princess, so just keep uh, keep that in mind. I need to, uh, I need to check something here because the beeper just went off and I wanted to see where we are with the old beeper. Uh, let's see where we are here. Let me see where the silver is. I want to see where I'm going to put my stop here. Uh, oh, it's up a little bit. I put a stop down around 1510. I think that would be below that level. So I'll risk 15 cents if it works. And if it doesn't, then uh, move on to the next one. Folks, there's another one that looks really interesting today, folks, and that's the crude oil. And let me explain to you why. You know, we had, I shouldn't be doing this. Uh oh, no, don't want to do this. Now, let's move on to something else. Let's take a look at the Australian dollar. Here we go. The reason why I don't want to do this, and the reason for that is uh, I don't want to take the responsibility for it because I do have detractors that, uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, make me uh, out to be a bad guy, which I'm not. Here is the, uh, let's get this Australian dollar. And then I'll, I'll cover the, uh, I'll take the oil in just a second, Maria. Uh, we broke above that trend line. Now we put, pull back to it. Pay attention to that, folks. We're up 10 days. Watch that 38% retracement in the Australian dollar. It could be a really interesting one. The reason why the oil, you remember on Friday, we were talking about the potential high coming in on the crude oil complex. And if you take a look at this, you'll be able to see that we went up Oh, good. We got a caller coming in. We went up, hit the 618, but before we do that, we want to talk to Beverly from Princeton. How hey, are you, how dear? How are you, Larry? How are you? Say, the other day you mentioned you had a, a, a sick friend and that Ross Perot was in the hospital with him. Was yeah. that this year? It was about two weeks ago. Okay, so that actually, I, I, I was Ross Perot's press secretary in 92 when he ran. Oh my he's goodness! Got, he's got How to be cool in the nineties by now. Uh, he's a, I think he I think he is a eighty nine is what he is. Huh. Pretty close to that. Yeah. Here's my dog talking to you too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He he's a he's a super nice guy. Oh God, he's so humble. Oh my God, I I couldn't believe uh, how how humble he was. He was just a really really nice guy. But well, gosh, and I didn't you know, know he was his press secretary. That's pretty cool. But I've I've met him many times, and he's sure. just. An excellent speaker. He was captain yep. of the debate team at uh, Annapolis. 
Yeah, and, he's a uh, he class really act. To the cleaners, and I remember when he said there would be a giant sucking sound of jobs out of this country. <laughs> if, uh, NAFTA passed. I mean, he was right too. <laughs> he was absolutely right. Now we're yeah. dealing with it. What thirty years later? Yeah. Oh, that's good. He's still going strong. His son runs most of the businesses now. I understand. Yeah. 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 He came here to New Jersey for a big rally, and he wanted me to fly to New York with him. Uh -huh. But uh, how would I get home? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had 25,000 people. And that's when I learned how much the press lies. We had the sheriff come in and talk to the press and say there were 25,000 people here. And the, and a, a lot of them came out in the papers and said there were 10,000 people there. Yeah, I'm, I can understand that without any trouble. We see the same thing in Hong Kong. They say certain things, and, you know, it's not nearly true with what's going on. But you got to be careful with everything nowadays. Okay, well, I'll hey, let you go on. Hey, thanks for, thanks sure for, uh, hey, thanks for sending me your picture. I really ago. enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. All right, we've got another caller on the line. Jim, are you there? <laughs> ah, evidently not. Okay, let's move on to the uh, next one, and we will talk a little. I, I need to check the price here, folks. My, my, alert, keeps, uh, my alert keeps beeping, and... Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I voted for Ross Perot seven times myself. Uh, let's move on here just a little bit. Um, you don't get to do that anymore. If you were in Indiana, you were able to do it, but you couldn't at that time. I want to uh, take a quick look here at where we stand here. Yeah, it's okay. Um, the oil market, the reason why, let's get back to the oil market for Maria, and I'll give you my two cents worth. Okay, here's the here's the chart that we had in oil. We went up, we hit that 61% retracement, folks, to the exact tick. At, at 60, 30 was the uh, number. It, the high was 60, 32 on Monday. Uh, Sunday night, actually. Hit it again early Monday, too. Now what we've done is, you see we're coming down, and we're testing this uh, low end of the 58 level. So keep this really closely, because if you hold the 58 level right here, that's down $2 a barrel. Okay, that's really close to the harmonic number in the crude oil. So if you can hold that level uh, right around 58, that might be a really nice rally for maybe even a dollar a barrel, which is 1000 bucks. You know, so uh, that's what you really want to uh, to keep in mind. That's uh, Mr. Z. Do you remember who said vote early and vote often? Do you remember who said that? I think it was Mayor Richard Daly, wasn't it? I don't remember exactly, but I I think that's who it was. Okay, let's keep moving on here to see what else we've got. Looking at, we had one other question. Oh, folks, long term, long term. I got a really interesting one when we come back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South 
African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific ISEL recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, if you remember, just the other day we were talking about natural gas. I want to get this up here so you can, folks, to take a look at it because I heard a really interesting story this morning on Bloomberg. And... Uh, you can see here, this is a, a daily chart. You can see the three drive to a, a bottom pattern that we had here when we got down to the 212 level. We rallied up 236, and then we're pulled back to that 220, uh, 225 level that we suggested would look be might be a pretty good place uh, to be a buyer. That's where we're we're setting today. If we get below 220, this is probably wrong. But the the thing that was really interesting, and I, I'm not a fundamentalist of all things, but I do love China, as you most you people know. I've been there, whoo, well, twice a year, 25 times probably. Anyway, um, China has a problem because they use 60% coal, and they got to stop doing that because of the environment. It's polluting over there, so they got to move to natural gas. And with 1.4 billion people, this guy was given this wonderful thing about how bullish natural gas was, you know, uh, you know, for this. And I'm thinking to myself, hello, I said, well, if it's really bullish for natural gas, and if it's really bullish for natural gas, how can it get down here? If you take a look at this long-term weekly chart, we're sitting right at the 78% level there at 215. I mean, has anything changed in in China since 2013 when it was 6.51 or when it was uh, $5 back uh, in last year in December when Mr. Z was saying now's the time to get short natural gas? So boys and girls, look at the bar charts. That's all you have to do. If prices are going up, more buyers. Prices are going down. There's more sellers. David White, I want to thank you again for all the stuff that you do here. I do not know how you can put all these things together. You have to be Mr. Google because anytime you have to, any question about a statement or anything, David White puts it here in the den and makes it real easy, you know, to uh, to do that. So we'll we'll see we'll see what that means. He is Mr. Google, no question about it. David, we really appreciate it. Let's hear the sound of one hound clapping for Mr. David White. Thanks, David. I really appreciate it. Um, David has some really great stuff on oscillators, folks. If you subscribe to his letter, you know what I mean. He's really got some uh, really way really cool ways to look at the divergences and stuff that is really good. So I highly recommend you uh, take a look at that. That's uh, very, very interesting. Okay, now I had another question about another market that we don't follow too often, but uh, we do follow it occasionally, and that is the old Canadian dollar. So you give me a second here, and we'll get it up here. We are getting down to this area that is very, very strong support here, here in the Canadian. You can see we've completed the big ABCD pattern back, back on the 28th, and here we are over that eclipse and new moon. 
similar to the high we made back there on the full moon. So let's uh, keep an eye on that Canadian dollar. We've got a double bottom in here, folks. We took out the lows from end of January and then closed higher. So watch that Canadian dollar. It's got a real chance in here to, you know, to possibly uh, have legs. <laughs> Someone's asked me to repeat the silver. Oh, dear God, what have I done? Oh, no, hey. What has Norman Winsky done? Let's call it like it is, boys and girls. Let's call it like it is. Okay, let's take a look here at the silver here, and we'll get this up here. We'll take a quick look at it. All right, here's silver. We got a beautiful Gartley, A, B, C, D, the topped on uh, June 22nd. You see that? Very simple. From the high of February, perfect 61% retracement. Since that time, we're down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth day down. Larry Williams said that's usually it. Anything past eight days, it can go to the record is uh, for commodities. It's uh, 22 days, either up or down. That happened twice with uh, uh, sugar, or twice with silver, and once with sugar. 22 days, limit or up or limit down. But this is eight days down. That means the probability of being up on the ninth day is better than 85%. But that other 15% could be wrong, and that's why we have to pay close attention to it. And we have a new moon, and we have a solar eclipse. I mean, I don't know what else you can do. I mean, that's uh, bada bing, bada boom. Don't know nothing about the Lone Ranger's bullets, but by golly, it looks interesting right now. Okay, let's take another look at something. Somebody's asking me about the banking index. This market has been lagging the market really badly, folks. Oh, the time of the solar eclipse, uh, Maria, is uh, 3 uh, 16 p.m. Um, Upper East Side time where you are, okay? So keep an eye on that. That's a very interesting. Uh, yes, yes, um, I remember the top. That was May the 15th of uh, 2015 with Norm. It was spot on. Boy, it was... Uh, it was right on the money at the time, you know, so keep an eye on it. Be very interesting to see uh, see what that happens. But let's take a quick look here at this. Uh, yeah, you know what? Well, that's good. Anyway, you'll notice here that the Dow Jones has made new highs. Uh, the banking index lagging badly. Um, that could change, of course, in a heartbeat. But th those are just some of the things that, you know, tell us that what we're, what we're watching here is going to be really interesting uh, or not. Uh, remember, Friday, I'm going to... Um, here, I'm repeating myself again. I'm going to go over uh, how I uh, traded the markets during the 60s using the cycle stuff and things I learned from John Hill. And uh, this is pre-Fibonacci stuff, folks, and pre-astrology stuff. So it, it, it worked, and it still does. But if you got it, you got to be able to plan it the right way, and we'll take a look at some of these things. Uh, and, but these markets are so volatile now, the, the risks on some of these, you have to be, you know, pretty uh, – uh, pretty intense to uh, see what uh, see what's going to happen, you know, with these. Now uh, we we remember we were talking about this uh, crude oil here uh, down around this uh, just a little bit low the 58 level. Uh, you know that would really be nice if you could get it at that level because it would really be a uh, really good spot to possibly you know, take a little nibble at it there. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but uh, it's going to have a lot of things going. The actual price, let me give it to you with the ABCD structure built into it, and then we'll take a quick look at it here. And I'm doing short-term trading here, you know, watching these 15 minutes. There it is, by golly, 57.90. So watch it breaking uh, 5,800 and then holding above 5,900. Uh, 5800. Watch 5790. We're trading at 5832. I'd like to see it get below 58 by just a little bit. Now I don't want to see a 57 or anything like that, but at that point you're you're trading a contract that's worth 58 thousand dollars at thou you know at a buck a bushel or a, a buck a barrel. So uh, you know we have to risk very much. You only have to risk about 50 cents. So. We'll watch that, but uh, the key level there is at 57.90. That's uh, that's what you'd be like to like to take a look at it, whether it's going to work or not. You know, I I don't know, but you know, the good part about this is, folks, nobody else does either. That's the key to this. Uh, it's all a, a guessing game, and what you got to do is to plan your guesses and try to make them as uh, cogent as possible. Keep them, uh, you know, keep your losses relatively small, but not too small. You know, that's always a hard thing to do, too, because you never know which of these, uh, 
uh, patterns are going to work and which ones aren't. You, you can't trade like the S&P for a two-point stop. I've heard people do that, but <laughs> I don't think that can happen very often because the minimum swing in that S&P you see most often is three and a half points. Okay, um, let's move on to one other question that someone had, and that was, hold on, we've got possibly someone calling in. Would I be lucky? Which, sure enough. Robert, stay with us. We'll be right back. Robert from Kansas. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back. We have a caller from Kansas City, Missouri. Robert, are you there? Or it could be Kansas yeah. City, Kansas. Probably is. <laughs> Kansas side, yes. Yes, sir. What can I help you with, my friend? Yes, uh, my apologies if you've already covered this. I just got the last half of your show. Uh, can you take a look at GDX and tell I just, me, based I, I, on how your pattern recognition, if you see that we've yeah. had a change in trend and we're now headed down with that? Well, I, you know, we had a nice run here, big ABCD. I posted it in here. We're down a little bit, which is normal. But, uh, you know, this is an ETF, so it, it doesn't track like gold or silver because of the fact that it is uh, – 
ETF. And by the time these people get the numbers, a lot of things have changed, but it's certainly tradable. I'm bullish gold today, tomorrow, mainly because we got the new moon and we got this solar eclipse. The silver looks really good because of the pattern. So I think the GDX will be pulled up with it because it's the ETF for gold silver mining. So it does look good to me. Uh, I'd be buying it today. And uh, with a stop under today's low, or under the low we made yesterday, and uh, let's see how it see how it works. Because uh, you know the good part about this is if it doesn't work, Robert, we can blame it on Norm Winsky. That's the whole theory behind doing this. <laughs> no, the risk is very small here, Robert. It really is. Uh, it's much better to buy it here than it was eight days ago when it was a lot higher. So your perspective is. That it's just had a retracement and it's yes. heading back up. Yes, that's certainly. And the open interest is telling me that too. The open interest in the gold market just keeps increasing. Uh, even on even on the, the little bit of the down days that we have, there's more buyers coming in. So that's uh, in sellers too. But the buyers are, you know, they've been in control over the past uh, three or four months. So this is still bullish. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, listen, thank you for calling in. And by the way, folks, if John, if you were listening from Michigan, please try to call in tomorrow when we have more time. But uh, folks, remember, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And today we go to the gospel mission today to get some nice white socks for all the folks there based on our lucky little little horse number two at Gulfstream. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, folks. Amen. Amen.